Alright guys, welcome back to the Anonymous Miner channel, and today I am going to make my first node. So, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to turn my spare internet into passive income. So I am going to earn crypto with the Mysterium Network. Let's get started. Alright, so I need to create an account and everything. I will do that, but first thing I want to do is I actually want to talk more about this so what am i doing um i am going to run a, myster a mysterium node and earn while i sleep well that sounds great our, our network is made up of everyday internet users around the globe join the fastest growing community of decentralizing the web so let's click right here and run your node you can turn your spare internet into that okay we'll get started so i am going to have to create an account now so let me get logged in and everything you guys can do this on your own Make sure you keep your passwords and everything safe, and I will be right back. All right, I uh, finished my login and I set up my account. I crit I got a verification email in my anonymous miner email. I opened it up and it brought me here, so I can choose from all these different ways to run my first node. So we can choose from a Windows like desktop computer, a Linux desktop computer, a Mac OS desktop computer, or laptop. You could do it either way, but. It, your computer needs to stay open and on to run this, just like a mining program. It's You're running a node. So you can also use a Raspberry Pi right here. Docker, which is another thing I don't really know how to use, but I'm sure a bunch of you really smart people know how to use that. And Avado, which I've never even heard of. So maybe that's a whole new level. I don't know. Anyways, Raspberry Pi. We're going to click Choose Raspberry Pi. And it is literally a step-by-step -step instructions here on how to do it and there's a couple people that have already made videos on it one of them is motto tech he's a great guy he's getting into cryptocurrency and i will share his his videos down below in case you want to see it from a different uh, point of view or perspective or setup and from there we're going to continue through here so uh, the first thing you need to do is download this mistberry.zip and you're going to open that up and you're going to get an iso file or a operating system right and then we're going to install that. So the first thing, I already have it installed or downloaded right here. You can see it. And then we're going to choose that file, right? Path is Raspberry Pi iOS. And it's this file, OK? And then my hard disk is a 64 gig uh, SATA drive that is attached to the bottom of this Raspberry Pi. And we are going to flash this thing. So it's 2.94 gigabytes. It's probably going to take like a couple minutes or something. I don't know. But we'll be back. I'm going to go get some coffee. Alright, so we're done flashing. I got my coffee and we're ready to go. I'm going to unplug this and we're going to go plug it into my router with the Raspberry Pi for the first boot. And then we will uh, do the secure hive shell. Right, entering with the IP like we did on the last video. And then real quick, I just want to talk about what exactly are we sharing our internet with. So this is how it all started. Mysterium is now a global distributed network powered by everyday people. Network participants are incentivized to share their resources in a supply and demand marketplace, helping others gain access to the open internet. Our VPN is the heart of the network, and our users are the soul of which carries this philosophy to every corner of the world. So, what does all this mean? What is, what, what is all this? Well, basically, you are a VPN for other people. That's what it comes down to. So other people are going to use a VPN and they're going to access your network. Now, you might be saying, whoa, anonymous miner. Well, I don't want to open up my network to everybody or, you know, make myself vulnerable in any way. And you know what? I completely agree. And that's why in a couple of minutes when I get this Raspberry Pi booted up and we get all this, uh, get it into the settings, I did see a way before I set all this up to turn off where you can do it to like the average person so you or I or anybody else setting up this video or setting up a Raspberry Pi while watching this video is unlikely to be using this it's gonna be commercial only so there's commercial versions of VPNs and they're going to restrict it which make takes a lot of the risk out of your hands unless that commercialized entity itself like you know some company gets hacked and then you're now a end result of that hack so it's extremely unlikely or less likely, I, in my opinion. I am no expert. Please comment down below if you think I am wrong. Um, however, we are going to continue with this video now. So now I'm going to go boot this Raspberry Pi, and then we're going to secure uh, shell, access it. Okay. 
All right, so we are back, and I just booted my Raspberry Pi, and I found it on my router. I showed that in my last video where I found my router. That's something you're going to have to do yourself because um, there's a bunch of different ways to basically find the IP address of that Raspberry Pi, but once you figure it out, you can input that uh, IP address. You can see mine right here, 192.168.254.36. And I put it into PuTTY over here, and then once I put it into PuTTY, it asked me to log in, and I typed in MIST, M-Y-S-T, and then the password is MISTBERRY. And then I started running these commands, this sudo apt-get curl, or sudo apt-get install curl, and I found those commands on the Mysterium how-to guide. So I'm just installing this stuff real quick, I'm going to run a couple commands, and then we will be back, I'm going to follow all of this stuff each step right here so I'll be back as soon as it's done downloading whatever it's downloading right now so it was like 20% done yeah it's 20% done right here so we'll be back in a little bit all right so we finished all that stuff and I ran a sudo apt update right and a sudo apt upgrade as soon as that one is done all right and I just made sure that everything is up to date and ready to go um, and after that, I took my same exact uh, IP address, which is 192.168.254.35636. And then I put it into my web browser. And along with that, I put a colon right here. 4449. And it took me to this page. Just by typing that in there, this page popped up. So let me show you that again. I actually did not type the onboarding part. That loaded on its own. So this is what I typed. 192.168.254.36. And what this is doing is it's uh, accessing that Pi on that port. And it's automatically, again, going to load this onboarding web page. And it takes a second. But there we go. So as soon as I was done running those commands, now I can access this. So now it's going to ask me for a Ethereum uh, compatible or an ERC20 token compatible wallet address, which is an Ethereum address. Most, if not all, Ethereum addresses are ERC20 compatible. Um, there are a few that are not. So be careful with that. Uh, I'm going to stick mine in here. I don't really want to share my public ETH address, but I'm going to stick it in here and we're going to get started with that. And then the thing that you need to be aware of is just because you're putting your ETH address in here, that does not mean that you have it backed up or any of these tokens are backed up. This is kind of like, this is the pool, right? And you're mining from the pool and you put your wallet address in here and unless you claim a, a payout, they're stuck on here. So later on, I'm going to show you how you can recover your your file to get back to the node in case like it shuts down or something, or you lose the file for some reason or whatever. If you were to just stick your Ethereum address back in here, it doesn't necessarily mean that all your missed tokens are going to show back up. Like that's that's not necessarily how that works. So you might lose them. Don't do that. All right. So now let me go grab my Ethereum address, and we'll be right back. Alright, so all I did is I put in my Ethereum address and I hit next and now it's asking me for a web UI password. I'm going to make this a pretty strong password, right? And then I'm going to claim this node as well. So now I need to get an API key so I can get it here by clicking on this link. And this I believe I have to have already made an account with the Mysterium network, which I did earlier. Right, so it's showing me I'm anonymous miner. Hello, anonymous miner. Awesome. Now, where can I get my API key? Let's see. Oh, here we go. API key right there. So let me copy that. Let's get back to my web UI and we are going to paste that in there. Save and continue. Awesome. Save my password. No, I don't recommend that. Okay, so welcome Node Runner, Smart Node Setup. Let's put in my password. Um, didn't I just do this? Okay, well that, that was kind of weird, but at any rate, here we are. 
So now, you can already see somebody's connected to me from Germany. So that's awesome. I'm already earning right here. Missed. Oh, look at that. Look at that. 0 0.003 myth. Missed already. Awesome. Okay. So there we go. I am online with my new node. I'm going to start running this. Right here is something I was talking about op earlier. This is the safe option. So traffic is vetted via business contracts, meaning they are going to be... It's not available to the general public uh, and limit to streaming. The option potentially will give less rewards. So if I were to turn this off, I could probably make more, but that's where I might get uh, people visiting some websites that I may not agree with, depending on what your point of view is or maybe your internet provider, for example. So one example could be that my internet provider I know will start sending me nasty letters if I am torrenting certain things. And that's basically if there is some copyright law or something, they're going to come after the internet people, and the internet people are going to come after me when they see me bit torrenting or do anything like that. So if there's someone torrenting through mine, then that can get me. So I got to be careful with that. So, anyways, um, it seems like that's about it for now. I am going to check back on this in a while, and we will see how my missed note is doing. All right, guys, we are back. We're checking on our minor, or our sorry, our node. I'm used to saying minor. We're checking our node after 24 hours. Here it is, and we have about 27 cents, or 0.23 Mysterium. So Mysterium is actually a ERC-20 token. I don't think I mentioned that yet. So um, it's built on the Ethereum network. And as a result, you can actually receive these rewards on your Ethereum address eventually. I think the payout is a little bit higher than that. But what we're going to do is I'm going to learn a little bit more about all this stuff as I'm, I collect more through this node. And I will get back with you guys again. Alright, so it has now been 48 hours with my Mysterium node set up, and you can see here that I have made about 34 cents now, so it actually hasn't gone up from the 24 hour mark, but um, it's going to fluctuate a lot. You can see right here, actually, I have a person connected. They're not using very much data. Um, they've been connected for almost 7 hours now, 6 hours and 46 minutes and 7 seconds and counting. Um, so this again is all with this checked on and this is the safe option traffic vetted via business contracts it's unavailable to the general public and limited to streaming this option potentially will give me less reward so you can possibly make more reward but it's a lot more risk in my opinion which I mean makes sense risk equals reward right but I have so much other stuff on my network that I don't want to put at risk that I'm not turning this on. So I only want vetted uh, business traffic. Now, of course, you still are open to potential hackers or anything else like that. That is always a possibility. However, um, I feel pretty safe for now. I will update you guys as we go. But this is how I set up a Mysterium node. There's a couple other people that have set up Mysterium nodes. Um, let me pull up another guy. It has a pretty good YouTube channel. This is the guy that I found it from. Give me one second. His name is Motto Tech. And I'll put in uh, Mysterium. Okay. And this guy right here. So you can do this. You can follow him. You can look at his video. It's pretty good. He's a pretty smart guy. I like his videos. And that's it for this Mysterium node for now. So if you guys want to see an update video in the future, let me know. I will update you guys every so often. I don't know how often. Probably, you know, when I make a couple bucks or it pays itself off or something. But for now, I'm just running this node and letting people use a little bit of my internet. And I'm getting paid in these tokens, which are, again, just to review an Ethereum token. So I will be paid on my Ethereum wallet address eventually on an ERC-20 token. So if you guys want to look into more of this, go to the Mysterium website that I will list down below. 
They have a white page. They have a lot of stuff that, or a white paper rather, that you can read through. You can learn a lot more about this stuff. Um, so for now, thanks guys for tuning in to the Anonymous Miner channel. If you could like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up or thumbs down, I appreciate it all. Thank you guys and have a good day or night or whatever it is, wherever you are. But definitely uh, smash that thumbs up or thumbs down.